Tuesday, <clears throat> February 7th, 8th, February 8th, to give the background noise, uh, separation anxiety, I work late, I just woke up, I'm a bit bleary, but let's see what we got here, um, things are pessimistic in, off pessimistic in Ottawa today, the communications are expected to go black, mm, not encouraging. There was an emergency meeting in Parliament last night, but I could get little of it. I mean, I was up late trying to find that after I got home. I got little out of it except Trudeau calls for a larger police presence. Yeah. The uh, fuel issue with the truckers was thwarted yesterday as people just carried in jerry cans. You know, they could have been full of water. I saw one guy going past the cruiser. He's going, you want some Kool-Aid? <laughs> You know, they just couldn't do anything with it. A change in the in the attitude of the police on the ground is um, they're displaying embarrassment. I can see this in the videos, and a lot of people have commented about it. The rapport, friendly rapport, and the eye tact is gone. Is eye contact is gone? They're just that you know. Most of them aren't happy about being there. It would seem. The Ottawa Police Chief's statement, he made a couple of um, frighteningly aggressive, a lot of military terminology. Um, I was watching a, a release this morning from the convoy organizers. They're expecting again the media blackout and um, the term kettling, where the police kind of surround one group and arrest everybody. Again, it's not looking very optimistic at all. 8 p.m. last night, the Ambassador Bridge to Windsor, Detroit, um, has been closed on both sides by trucker protesting. Commercial traffic is routed a, a mile away to another border crossing. Again, all across Canada, in all the major cities, people are out on the streets. Another prairie border crossing at Milk River, um, I'm not sure if it's closed. I'm not sure if the first border crossing out there is closed or if at either or both places they're just there in presence. I really don't know. Um, oh, yeah, in the police chief's statement, he said the weekend before this one just passed, there were 1,500 people in Ottawa, and this weekend passed, they were, there were 1,000. Which brings me to the whole disinformation campaign. Um, the, the government and the mainstream media, their propaganda machine is, um, in regards to their crowd, crowd funding, they're saying um, it's foreign interference and corruption, and their justification for that is the number of anonymous donors. Well, in any such charitable donation type of thing, there's always a lot of anonymous donors. Sorry, still waking up. And in this case, you'd think there'd be even more anonymous anonymous donors. Given the political situation, some people want to help but are a little scared to stick their neck out. I mean, that's quite understanding. More of the government mainstream media's propaganda they said that uh, two ambulances were attacked and stoned by the protesters <laughs> there, there there was no footage of that and nobody's making a statement to verify it they also claim the uh, nurses and hospital staff are scared to go to work they have to uh, wear their street clothes and try to sneak in to get to work because they're scared of the truckers. Well, as I said in an earlier video, the uh, nurses and the EMS, the healthcare workers, were amongst the first to protest these mandates, these mandatory, uh, you know. Um, now, in Canada, the Attorney General sits above the government, above the Prime Minister. It's the ultimate um, stop gap if the government gets out of control 
I won't go into much background there. Uh, that position has been compromised. Well, again, it's, it's a complicated issue. But anyways, we do have a sitting attorney general. And um, it's all over the internet. You can phone the attorney general and ask for a non-confidence vote. And for a number of days now, um, that phone line has been jammed. Um, I've seen people, well, I've talked to a couple of people I know personally. It takes them two hours to get through. It's that backed up. And people are doing it. They're sitting patiently on the phone to, to make their voices heard in that sense. Um, the original GoFundMe, I don't think I mentioned, has and is returning the money without request to the original donors. Um, I know my sister got her money back and I've seen quite quite enough traffic on the internet to say with confidence that's true. The organizers in Ottawa of the um, protesters really got a good team together. They've got lawyers, they've got a whole crew of uh, men and women doctors from the medical science. They want to challenge Trudeau keeps going back to the science, the science. Well, it's political science that he's talking about, not real science. And another misinformation thing, there were a couple of young bucks tried to set fire to a building somewhere in Ottawa. They were caught in the act, and um, I don't know what their motivation was, but they're obviously just a couple of young, I guess, punks. Who had nothing to do with the convoy or the protesters and yet of course the media says it's the truckers so it's looking shaky in ottawa um i guess i'll be back later when more develops